We lift our hands, we sing songs unto you. Hallelujah. You hold your word higher than all your needs. Your provisions, Lord God. Yes, we do. And we ask for forgiveness. We plead the precious blood of Jesus upon our lives, our children, all the families of the church. So no lo e calesia tama o no maso o mo o ma ina iya pa fia fia yo fina malo pa mangalo ma yo maso sanata pa mangalo ko la maso ni o ma iya o no o e o le tu e ma iya e te sao ya te o e le bi inga le pa manu le o sana le aleluya ya so pa iya pa tsai o no Jesus ke ri so lo maso o li pa o no pa tsai lo o fia o ma tama. Hallelujah. And we continue, Lord, to stand on your word that as we say, by your stripes we are healed. Yes, by your stripes we are healed. Why put sail a loy follow mommy and yes of tomorrow? We pray, Lord, your blessings. We love you.
Let's pray for his Father in Jesus' name as I stand before you, Lord. I pray that you use my voice to bring forth your word, Father. Let this word that you see fall upon good grounds to bring forth many uh, good fruits to glorify your holy name, Father. Help us uh, to understand of your word. Make it easy for us, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, before we read the scripture, uh, let me do an illustration first on what uh, our sermon is going to be like. You know? Can I get a, a volunteer? Uh, Tonu, come, come up, Tonu. You are my volunteer for today. Okay, bring, the, bring the bottle up there. So, we heard last week that this word called transaction or, or transaction. What do we hear this word from? Hold up to that. What do we hear this word at? At the bank. And also where? At the store. Amen. So let me give you what this word uh, in meaning in the in, uh, in, in, uh, definition. Transaction. Uh, instance of buying and selling something in business deal. Exchange or... A change or an intervening uh, between intervention between people, action of business or conduct. So when we hear this word uh, transaction, it, it is a prayer that of our own last week. Let us go to the text. Or prayer up to the my turn of prayer tonight. For here, I am marking it. They try to market the church. They try to market uh, the, the talent link. Amen. So, uh, let, me, let me do this illustration first. So, a transaction is like a business word. Yeah? Can I hear that? It's like uh, when you go to the bank or when you go to uh, 
uh, any place to do transaction as find opportunity. But uh, I'm going to show you a, a little, maybe a different angle or a different view we can uh, view this. I know that the tech tech did an excellent job on this. Now, transaction is, I have something and I need something else. So I need to make an exchange. Does that make sense? So when you when you go to the swap meet, what do you do? Do you just take the very first price that uh, the item comes out with? You try to bargain, right? That's what they do at swap meet, they try to bargain. But when you go to the regular store or McDonald's, you cannot bargain, right? Whatever the price they give you, that's what they you pay. Yeah? So Here's, I need water, okay? And I have something to exchange for it. And who has the water? Don't who has the water, amen? And all depends what total charge be, that's what I'm gonna pay, right? Okay, total, how much is the water? One dollar. Did you say that because I only have a dollar? <laughs> I was prepared, I have another dollar in my pocket. So you say a dollar? What if I say 50 cents? No, you're not going to take no 50 cents. What about 90 cents? 90 cents? You go know, 90 cents. Now you notice what we're doing here, what we're doing is, is uh, uh, bargaining and talking about it Negotiating. Okay. That's that's another word for it. As a matter of fact, there's another word for uh, for this transaction is uh, negotiating. Okay. Don't yeah. Because you, you say that I'll give you a dollar and you give me the, the one. Now, after we do this, what do you call this? The transaction just completed. Now Okay, thank you, Tom. Now, what you just happen is, do I have a relationship with the Tom? Yes. No. The only time we have a relationship we're talking about it is when we're transaction. It can be a complete no transaction. What? Wow. Oh, wow. That's the difference between uh, the, the the medical transactional. Uh, uh, gospel of faith, amen. Versus the gospel of faith, amen. So, all the difference is relationship, amen. Because Otah told, once we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, right? It starts our relationship with who? With Jesus, amen. Or may I find time? Because. People come to church or people come to Christ and they try to bargain the way into it. Amen? Men have a way that you might have to tell them not to pay a man, Ali. It can go fear that they don't get what they want or they don't get the respect or the honor they get. It can go fear or, you know, if I'm afraid, go fear. Why? Because this is their mentality. If I don't get what I need from the church, then sayonara, I'm out of here. Does that make sense? But or tenata esawia yesu. You come repentance. You come with a or the lotto maulalo, and you develop that relationship with Jesus. And this is an ongoing relationship, amen? Because here's what Jesus said, if you want to follow me, what do you do? Pick up your cross and follow me. Yes. Now that's the hard part is because we don't want to get, we don't want to pick up a cross because I say, you're on your way to death. You're on your way to be crucified, amen? amen. And that's why Paul says, no, I, I die daily. I died daily. So in other words, Amen. 
So when we come to Christ, we don't try to park it that way. Right. Amen? Yeah. Now, turn to our scriptures here. Luke 18, verse 18 to 23. Now, as we read the scripture, I want you to, to put it in your mind in a transaction that come funny, funny. Okay? Now look at it as a business sense, what this man trying to do. Okay, we have it in English today? Okay, let's do it in English. Follow with me. Once a religious leader asked Jesus this question. In another translation, the rich young ruler, okay, asked Jesus this question, good teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? So this rich man here, what is he trying to do? Bargain. Follow me more. He's trying to bargain. Verse 19. Why do you call me good? Jesus asked him. Only God is truly good. Verse 20. But to answer your question, you know the commandments. You must not commit adultery. You must not murder. You must not steal. You must not testify falsely. Honor your father and mother. This is his answer. The man replied, I have obeyed all these commandments since I was young. What is he doing? He's still bargaining, right? 22, when Jesus heard his answer, he said, there is still one thing you, have, you haven't you done. Sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor and you will have treasures in heaven. Then come and follow me. Here's the magic word. Follow me, okay? Verse 23. But when the man heard this, he became very sad for he was very rich. Let's, let's take it again from, from the beginning. Oh. Here's this young, rich young ruler coming to Jesus. Okay? And what is he doing already? If he had not allowed me, but he wants to do it on his what? On his own turn. He's trying to park in his way, okay. Yeah? He's trying to park in his way. Look, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Amen? Well, if I go to God, you, you have you kept the commandments? He said, I have kept the commandments ever since I was young. Amen? So now he's old. He's still keeping the commandments, right? Okay. What is he doing? He's telling Jesus, "I have, I have done all that." Okay. Rakara Yesu Okay. Okay. But there's one thing you lack. Is what? Go and sell everything you have. Give your money to the poor and come and follow me. Oh. Now this is where this is where we get the story where he start what? Now the question becomes is did the transaction take place? No. Now Kagu transaction. He did it. I mean the transaction took place, but the thing is it was not completed. Because he didn't get it on his turn. The moment. Dengan reformasi yang kita tu tata i last week up, people they come to church and they try to bargain. What can I get out of church? Alpha, I only want to look for five weeks in a row. What can I get? Do I get a candy bar? Amen. Five weeks, maybe seven weeks in a row. Can I get my prayers answers? More money. So. Bapa Fafa tengah tanya, oleh Bapa Fafa pisgi siapa? So that's why I titled this message "Rich Man," because the ending of this story, I'm going to show you another rich man that that did the same thing, but different results. All right. So that the guys here, because they want to follow the boy here, he did. Kero Oikaresia, Kero Lokuluo TV, 
They're walking this way. If you give, you're going to be what? You're going to be blessed or you're going to be rich. Yeah. If you do this, you will. But that the father of the mother, this is what you are. They all died. They didn't receive the promise that was promised to them. Amen. Amen. And, and, and I believe it's, it, it's a good message for us because the question becomes is what if a few make a car in a year mile row? and they don't get healed. Are you going to give up on the faith? Is that why you came to Jesus? Because you want a healing for somebody? Did you come to Jesus because you wanted to be rich? And that's exactly what the church is doing right now. They're marketing the church. Pay your finger or marketing for you. Uh, more advertising for you if you buy this and this miracle pill you're going to lose 20 pounds in two days wow. yeah wow yeah just go on the internet you'll see all kinds of crazy stuff how you can lose weight that fast or how you can gain muscles in three days does that make sense now, now our mentality comes into the church is what can I do to get something out of the church? Amen? God, what can I get if I give my life to you? Instead of just humbling ourselves and giving our life to God and say, God, no matter what happens, I love you anyway. I didn't come to this because of that. But if you bless me, Praise the Lord. If you heal me, praise the Lord. Does that make sense? Why not tell us a single or if I don't go to nature at all? Or if I don't go to nature at all, they sometimes call this person here the 13th disciple or the 13th apostle because he's the guy that turned, the, turned down the Vanagon here in the tour. Amen? Not too many people in away here soon. As a matter of fact, he was the number 13, and he turned it down. Let me just give it to remembrance. Remember Peter and Andrew? They were brothers, right? What were they doing? They were fishermen. And the Bible says, as Jesus was passing by, all he said was, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Amen. What did they do? Did they try to bargain? Did they say, Jesus, can, can we just finish it up the day first and they will follow you? Okay. No, the Bible says they left everything and they went follow Jesus. Amen? Amen. James and John are not two brothers. The Bible says when Jesus was passing by, same thing, they were bending their nets. And then when Jesus was, follow me. What did they do? Or the interesting or, 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 or story that because they were also businessmen. This businessman, or I'm not a business fisherman, or to not have a motor. And they make good, good living out of it. If I'm just by here, when Jesus says to James and, and, and John to follow me, they left their dad on the boat, Makaka Fama Runa or Kampagi, and, and they just stood up and Follow Jesus. Why don't you say say about the matter? It will move a Jesus without no transaction, without no trying to bargain. Okay, if I follow you, uh, what is the hotel combination? How is the meal? For them, I can go. Do you have a meal plan? Does that make sense? And if you see that also, yeah. Okay, what? But what's the benefit? Any benefit you may have. They just dropped everything. I forgot the, the interesting part of the story was they left their father on the boat. Wow. 
No parking. They say, Jesus said, follow me. They just follow. Wow. But I'll tell you the two letters of one yet. Amen. Let me give another example that's uh, in line with this same story. Remember the story of the three Hebrew children or the three Hebrew youth? Shadrach, Meshach, and Benigo, right? You guys remember the story then for you to uh, What does everybody have to do? Bow down and worship. These guys here, they understand who the God is. Yes. Because the story goes on to say, uh, if you have a chance to read it, you found it in, 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 in the book of Daniel chapter 3, verse 60 to 80 now. But here's what they say to the king. Remember the king was very furious because these guys are not going to bow down. They heard, this guy, the king heard that these guys were rebelling against him. Huh? But this is what they say. We know that God can deliver us. But if not, we will not worship your God or bow down to the statue. What did they just say? We know that God can deliver us. But if he doesn't, we will not worship any other God or bow down to the statue. If you notice, the very first two commandments of the Ten Commandments, when they mention thee, those are not worship any other God. Those are not bow down to any idols or to anything. Uh, so in other words, ole mantu tamitiya, retura fono ole No, we are violating this this commandment. You might say, well, they're disobeying authority, right? Because the king is in charge. But uh, let me just make a correction or side power to this. Anytime somebody tells you to uh, disobey the commandments of God, that's when you can say, no, thank you, but I'm going to have to disobey you on this part. Does that make sense? But if they tell you to do something that's not according to the word of God or breaking the, the commandments, you have a choice to say, I love you, but I cannot do that. Does that make sense? Praise the Lord. That's when you can jump off the boat and say, no, I cannot. That comes against my belief. Right? That comes against of who I, I worship, the one and true God. We know that God can deliver us. We know He can. But if He doesn't, we are not going to bow down, we are not going to worship this God. Amen? They know what they, they're coming into. Praise the Lord. They mock your life party and they, they yeah, yeah, if I know uh, Israel, but the thing is, they know what they're talking about. Yes. Yes, Does amen. that make sense? Yes, amen. They know the God they serve. Yes. As a matter of fact, we all know the Lord's story. The, the king was so furious, make the, the furnace seven times harder. Yeah. And the soldiers that took the the three Hebrew youth inside, they, get, they end up getting killed. Amen? And when they throw me inside the fire, and they look inside the fire, what happens when you throw a wood into a fire? You see a wood burning, right? What happens when you throw a barbecue, uh, a chicken into a fire or a barbecue? The, the chicken 
32 what? Chaco and barbecue, right? I think it's local. Man, it is we are not going to come by your pay or let's see what come by your own left. Amen. The hair wasn't even burned. Amen. As a matter of fact, wasn't it three people that we put inside? Amen. But it was a good father, I can't have a money go. And the fourth person, they say, isn't that the Son of God? Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Sometimes God allows us to go through fire. And sometimes God walks with us in the fire Amen. and delivers us from the fire. As a matter of fact, we all know the story. They got delivered from this. Hallelujah. Amen. But the story goes on to say, uh, this is a motor matter. My idea to I mana malamba idea to letter letter to our own here. Amen. They are not looking to, to get something out of it. And they say, even if we get something out of it, yeah, praise praise God. Amen. Now, praise the Lord. Luke 19, the very next chapter. Here's the story of another rich man. Let's read it together, okay? Jesus entered Jericho and, and made his way through the town. There was a man there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector in the region and he had become very rich. Uh, back up uh, verse 2. He was the chief tax collector. In another translation, he, they say um, he was a notorious, notorious sinner. He was a chief tax collector in the region and he had become very rich. He tried to get a look at Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree, fig tree beside the road, for Jesus was going to pass that way. When Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and called him. My name is Zacchaeus. He said, quick, come down. I must be a guest in your home today. Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and took uh, Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. But the people were displeased. He was gone to be the guest of a notorious sinner. Okay? Notorious sinner. They grumbled. Eight. Meanwhile, Zacchaeus stood before the Lord and said, I will give half my wealth to the poor. Lord, if I have cheated people on their taxes, I will give them back four times as much. Jesus responded, Salvation has come to this home today, for this man has shown himself to be a true son of Abraham. Now this is the story of a rich man. Two rich men. The first rich man didn't want to follow Jesus. This rich man here, he climbed up the tree because he wanted to see Jesus. And besides that, he was short. Amen. But when Jesus saw him, right, he said, Come down, I must be a guest at your house. Yes. Now, you notice the difference between these two stories. The first story is who initiated the conversation? The rich young ruler. In this story here, who initiated the conversation? Jesus. Jesus. Now go back to the last, the very last verse. Uh, For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. Amen. 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 So here's Jesus looking at this rich man. Come down. I want to be at the guest at your house. People are grumbling because this is the, if you are a tax collector, you, you are the most hated person over there because the tax collector does is 
Et est-ce que le texte est mal ou que vous avez fait le texte correct, il faut que vous avez fait le mal à gagner le texte. Et vous avez fait le texte. Et alors, il y a un texte correct. 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 So these people here, they were hated people because they were not honest people. Amen? And also, the Bible says he was also a rich man. Praise the Lord. I don't know what. He lived up there to Yeshu, he's the master there. Zacchaeus, can you do this? He didn't bark it the way he bark it the last time with that other rich man. Amen. Oi na mo mua, ufai ufam taramaria. Ufai tu spa yora ai la tuwa. Wo o na vale lo tuwa. The thought and the mindset of the nata lewa salamu salamu moni. Amen. He was a man that's repenting of the stuff that he has done. And men more more there, also the gata love is a ivy metua. They need to humble themselves. They need to be repented hard. And that's where God can see us. That's where God can save us. Amen. Amen. Why do we know that he has repented hard? Because the the things that he said. What did he say? I will give half of my riches to the poor and anybody that I have cheated, I will pay back what? Four times. Amen? Yeah. Praise the Lord. How many of you will receive your, 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 your stimulus check this week? <laughs> or uh, <laughs> stimulus credit, whatever they call it? <laughs> Nobody got <laughs> Oh. Okay, I see one, two people in God. And the rest of you say, no, I'm, I'm going to keep it to myself. I'm not going to tell you how much I receive. Amen. But here's the thing, man. My father told you, I'm going to go to Salomon. Amen. And then he says, salvation has come into this house. And then he says, this is the true child of who? Abraham. You remember last week that Titan was talking about Abraham? The father of the faith that he made that great sacrifice. Amen. And he's on that list in Hebrew 11. Amen. The true child of Abraham. Amen. 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 So that's what God is here. I, I know some of us don't want to hear this kind of message. We want to hear kind of message like, okay, okay, tell me what can I get? Tell me when can I get healed? Tell me when can I be blessed? Amen? We don't want to hear this kind of message where people are repenting. People are, are you know, are, willing to follow Jesus, pick up the cross. Amen? As that's the true gospel is, the, the true good news is, if you want to follow, pick up your cross and follow me. We need to die daily. Amen? 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 You're not going to What's the word for it? You're not going to grumble. Does that make sense? What else can I do? Does that make sense? 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 Have you ever heard that before? I think, I think I made that mistake 
Popo Fowal, Mafai 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 Fowal, the true gospel is what you're going to be here. But it can be heard. It can be heard. Does that make sense? It can be a fact that 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 it can be a fact. Let me give an example. Makuru, makuka koroku yosai na ilu. I try not to fucking lie in here because it's here. Yeah, it's here. 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 I just did it on my own because, you know, I'm a heart of a servant. But I was not doing any justice to you because I'm not teaching you the true gospel. Does that make sense? Or may I know what? I don't pick you up for free. I would not be picky, but I'm not busy. Pick up, I'm not busy. If I make a decision on the pastor, I'm not busy. I'm not busy. What about me? What? Never found. Never found Puka. What? What can I find? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't pick you for free. I'm not busy. 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 That's my fault. For not telling you the true gospel, amen. Or they come from Bali, they could be from India, from India, or from any fucking island, or from our father, man, they come from Bali. I see, bro. Does that make sense? Amen. I find some of the people in Malaysia, my people in Los Fukaram, oh, how can they do that? Can they do Los Fukaram? Can they? Amen. I can't see how to drive to McDonald's, but I don't fast food car. Amen. 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 Yeah. That was my fault before. You're kidding me. Yeah. I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. Amen. Amen. I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. Kalau dia kuai, so sangat kaya dia bukan dia umai, tengah terfaham tak sih macam itu. Kira dia amen. Ia kau bil miliar kalau dia sejuluk, tengah dia sekarang sih apa yang kau faham itu, sangat mak orang tu, ia kau bil faham. Come to our church, we have nothing to do. The only church has nothing to do is the church of the graveyard. Oh, four people come. <laughs> That's the only church that has nothing to do. Or a local area, or you could have bought your oil. Can you oil? Mami, you know? Or they can't see it. I love to hear they can't see it. Or I have a boy, oh, man, they can't see it. Let me see this. Let me see the face of that. Amen. That's the only church. Let me make fire. I have a parent in my house, and I It ain't even meant for you, ah. But it's sound of a facade, my way at AC, ah. But it ain't even meant for you. It always full right, it come a fight. See, fight is full right. Amen. It's full right, it's not something to negotiate. That's not even ours, that's God's money. Your kaulanga, that's up to you. Your offering, that's up to you. But I was full right. If all this were a conversation from how we must move it, it shouldn't be like that. It should be, I want to do my spirit because it belongs to God. Does that make sense? So, is it, am I getting harder than you now? Just a little. Can I step on your toes some more? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Kuih kambing apa ya? 
el otro es un tubo fuera, no es un tubo. Y so we thank God for the message of last week that we reminded us, we cannot look at the gospel as the way the people in the world look at it. Business, parking, what can I get out of this? Amen. But here's the deal. All we can say is, Father, we love you. Whether you bless me or not, I still love you. Whether you heal a certain family member I've been praying for, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to serve you. I'm still going to love you. Does that make sense? Amen. And who are you from? From 613 uh, laws that were given by Moses, uh, cut it down to uh, by the time of David, and then cut it down by. Uh, some more. But the time comes to the New Testament, and do a pura for Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, right? And you love your, your neighbor as yourself. You cover everything. You cover everything. Amen? And that's the, the, the true gospel is. And besides that, Jesus said, follow me, pick up your cross. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you, Father, for your word that never yeah. leaving us, nor forsaking us. Thank you for helping us to walk according to your word, Father. And thank you, God, for your mercy and your, and your patience upon us. And sometimes we try to do things to get things from you, Father. And Lord God, help us to change our heart. That we love you, we serve you regardless. Regardless. Because we, we know that you gave your son to die for us on the cross. What more could you have done? You have, you have given more than enough. You have blessed us with eternal life. And now he, he told us we can have blessed life here on earth. And so we just thank you, Father, for your word. We love you in Jesus' name. Now God showed his says. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, the vegan my father tell if I fully love you to the yes. But thanks for love you to follow along my foot on life. Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. And let's say aloha to those uh watching from online. On the count of three, one, two, three, aloha. Okay, send the camera over there so that people can see the shaka sign channel. One more time, aloha. See the second side in the back? One, two, three. Aloha. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Chairman. Oh, yeah, to turn out to that on the time.